Godzilla Kong The New Empire was shrouded in mystery for a long time, but now we have two full trailers and seemingly a never-ending supply of new TV spots. Nonetheless, we have gotten a very good look at Kong's new nemesis, the Scar King, and we've been teased some on Scar's ally in this story, Shimo, a monster of epic proportions and even more epic abilities. In this video, we are going to theorize on what their evil plan for the world is, and how they expect to achieve their goal. Let's do a quick recap on the synopsis for GXK. Godzilla and the Almighty Kong face a colossal threat hidden deep within the planet, challenging their very existence and the survival of the human race. Back when this first came out, we had no idea what to expect. The wording was very vague, and in a monster movie, this is roughly the plot for like 80% of them. However, knowing what we know now, we can actually put some of the pieces together on what this colossal threat truly is. Sure, when you say the word colossal, it makes the threat sound a lot like it could be Shimo. But I think this wording is more in a philosophical sense, and not so literal when it says colossal threat. And we're going to explain why, but first, to discover their plan, we must first theorize the origin of both Scar and Shimo's evil nature. Let's start with Scar, since it's 100% confirmed that he is the brains behind this evil operation. Scar is said to represent the absolute worst in humanity, our evil side. Based on real-world dictators, Scar is said to be ruthless in his conquest for power and control. He craves being the one in charge, the one who gets to make all the decisions. Any who oppose him are simply not worth keeping alive. He will be greedy, always wanting more and more. He will never be satisfied, even if he does complete this mission. Now just like humans, it's not likely that Scar started out evil. We may never know what caused him to be a brutal dictator in this fictional universe. But there is likely a catalyst for this darkness in his soul, one that shaped his perception that everyone and everything is beneath him, especially other Kongs and humans. Shimo, on the other hand, is much more of a mystery. With the little we know, it's unsure if this new titan can be considered truly evil like Scar. Cleverly hidden within the trailers and TV spots, we can however see that Shimo is focused on helping Scar, and it doesn't look like she's necessarily being forced to, at least right now. However, perhaps after so long that Shimo has grown to accept Scar's command, whether for her own gain or to perhaps avoid pain. If you look at the tip of the whiplash, the Scar King's bone whip weapon, you will notice that one of those hollow earth crystals protrudes from the end of the tool. This very well could be a sort of Alpha Titan kryptonite. You know, the stuff that makes Superman get all weak. And this thing could be capable of shredding through the thick reptilian titan hide that we see on both Shimo and Godzilla. I don't see any other reason for this crystal to be on the end of his weapon, unless it had some sort of advantage over much more powerful titans. And after taking this whip to her flesh for what could be eons now, perhaps Shimo was simply broken and tamed to the Scar King. So if you are watching this video, there's a good chance you've seen the epic cartoon series called Primal. In this show, there's a character called Kamua, a monster of a man with insane, otherworldly physical power and size. In this story, he's a slave to an evil, tyrannical ruler who uses the brute of a man to lead her invasive force into new territories. And he was very good at his job. At first, it appears like the man is all for his cruel deeds, but over time you understand that the only reason he's doing these horrible things is because he is truly a slave. Not only forced to do so for his own well-being, but also his daughter's. Her life was used as blackmail over his head. If he didn't do as commanded, the evil ruler would have his child killed. So, he only had one choice, to do those horrible things to innocent lives in this cartoon. And this very well could be the situation going on between Scar and Shimo in the New Empire. So now that we have a general theory on their origins of evil, let's get to their master plan. Just like any good dictator, Scar wants to expand his lands. We aren't sure exactly how far his reign reaches in the Hollow Earth. However, it's likely the Kongs are the dominant species that resides there at this point in the timeline. Sure, there are plenty of other individual titans that can nuke a Kong to a fiery crisp, but as a whole, evidence supports the Kongs are the mantle holders of responsibility within this titan realm. However, Scar always wants more. He wants the surface world, a world that he might have forgotten about until recently. Now in the trailer, we see that Scar's Kong people bear the mark of his red hand. The same mark we saw on Skull Island. Which means Scar or one of his trusted followers had at one point been to Skull Island to make their mark. Even the director of the movie implied that this was not Kong's handprint. So this was Scar or one of his minions claiming this land for his empire. 
but being that it was just an island surrounded by ocean and a big giant storm on all sides, it appears like this was as far as their invasion could take them at that time. We know that the apes can't swim very good. And it stayed this way till the arrival of Kong and the surface world humans. Once he became aware that humans with crazy technology were coming in and out of his land at will, with giant mechs, heavy machinery, and even building small outposts, to a tyrannical dictator, these are all signs of war, an insult to his rule. And when Kong came stumbling into his lair, challenging Scar, this was the final straw. These imposters must be killed, but he also might become curious as to how they were getting access to the Hollow Earth. As a cunning beast, it's likely Scar would devise a plan to use the humans' wormhole routes to finally access the rest of the surface world. With these new access points, he could finally reach the surface, and practically from anywhere. You may be wondering why wouldn't he already know about these wormhole access points to the surface world? Well, I can't answer that question. But if he did know about them, it just seems like it would make sense that he would have already attacked the surface. Now keep in mind, this is a movie franchise and they didn't have this whole entire story plotted out until probably just recently. So it is what it is there. But he must know about Godzilla. Everything we know about the Titans tells us that they're capable at the very least of sensing each other all across the planet and inside of it. So I'm sure that Scar knowing that Godzilla's reign up on the surface would prevent a challenge to him, he's probably been okay with staying in the Hollow Earth for now. And this is also why keeping Shimo on a tight leash was always so necessary. The one monster that could take on Godzilla 1v1 and destroy the human surface all at the same time. And this brings us to the plan. Scar will charge straight into the surface world on his mighty steed Shimo. He won't be needing his entire army just yet, as I bet he would assume the surface world will have no one there to face him at this time, as it seems like Godzilla and Kong will still be in the Hollow Earth chasing Scar and Shimo down. Once Scar and Shimo surface, Scar would go on to roar directly at the humans below like we see in the trailer. A clear sign that he's aware of them and he wants them to fear him. While Scar would move forward into this new land, Shimo would begin the ultimate attack. Using her insane ice powers, she fires up into the sky. As the beam stretches into the great beyond, we see a giant storm begin to grow, and the ocean and surrounding areas begin to freeze over in an instant. Appearing to be a sort of siege tactic, my impression on this attack is that Shimo is in a sense creating another ice age. Not any ordinary natural ice age, one that would completely change the shape of the planet. If the entire world is covered in ice and snow, and it all happened really fast, then eventually us humans would run out of food. We wouldn't be prepared for that. And as we ran out of supplies, we would turn on each other and do half the work for Scar without him ever even having to get involved or lose trusted warriors in a battle. In the matter of a few years, the human race would be all but eradicated. And the ones left alive would have no choice other than to hide in the shadows of their new god, or be destined to a life of servitude for Scar. If this plan would succeed, then Scar could go back down to the Hollow Earth and let Shimo claim the surface world for her own. And since Scar rules Shimo, Scar would rule the entire world, and have free roam to do whatever he pleased anywhere, in his mind becoming the alpha ruler of all. But of course, Godzilla and Kong will have a word or two to say about that. The Kong species' original purpose was to protect humankind, something Kong will be doing in this new movie. The Godzilla species' original purpose was to protect Earth as a whole and its balance within the living world, something that will also be tested as Scar and Shimo attempt to terraform the entire surface world. This is a perfect reason for the G-Man and Kong to get over their differences and fight side by side. And this is also why Scar must die, and you can hear another one of my theories on just that in this video right here, so make sure and click the link at the end of this video so you can get right into the next MonsterVerse theory. As always everyone, this has been Jacob, and if you like this video, consider leaving it a like, sharing it around, and stomping that subscribe button if you haven't already. The movie's just weeks away, and we can't wait to experience this journey with you guys. I'll see you in the next one.